This is lesson 15. It's on elimination on page 79. So just like lesson 13, when we were solving for that X, Y coordinate, where those two lines intersected, that point of concurrency, we use substitution. In this lesson, instead of substituting for a variable, we are going to eliminate a variable. You can only eliminate a variable when you have an equation. You cannot eliminate a variable when you have an expression. There has to be an equation. And to eliminate variables, you should have an inverse sign. All right, so if the first one's 2y, the second one has to be negative 2y, and we're gonna add the equations. If the first one Okay, we can add these. The y's would eliminate. We have negative 2x equals 15. And then we would divide by negative 2. All right. Let's suppose let's suppose we have variables and none of their coefficients are inverses. In fact, none of the coefficients even match. Then what we can do because we have an equal sign is we can multiply every term, that's a rule, right? We can multiply every term by one value such that the coefficients are inverse. So if I take this first equation, okay, I need everybody to pay extremely close attention right here. I must multiply every term by two. This right here is where most students make mistakes. They don't multiply the constant on the other side of the equal sign. All right, so you end up with two y plus two x equals 12. Don't forget, multiply every term. If you have to write a two by every term to make that happen, do it. Make it happen. All right, we will work through the one example that is given in your textbook. on page 80. So if 3x plus 2y is equal to 23, negative 2x plus 3y is equal to 2. All right, this is not an example like I showed you. All right, we need the coefficients of one of the variables to be opposites. So if I look, these have, op the X's have opposite signs. The Y's have the same sign. So which one would you change? The X's. You're exactly right. What are we going to multiply this first equation by? Therese? The top one. The top one. Two. By positive two. Every term. And what are we going to multiply the bottom one by? Three. I heard it. Someone said it. Who said it? Yes. Very good, thank you. Okay, um, yes ma'am. I'm sorry, I'm so confused on how you know which term to multiply by. Okay, I look, I have a three X, I have a negative two X. And I ask myself, what must I do to make them the same number? Oh, uh, okay. But opposite signs. Okay. Make sense? I'm very glad you asked that. So we're multiplying the two by every term. I always draw those arrows so I don't forget. So we end up with six X plus four Y is equal to 44. Distributing the three to every term in the second equation. 
this is where I wanted to get plus and minus six so that I could then add the equations and the six X eliminates. So I have my six X eliminating. I have 13 Y equals 50. When I divide by 13, what's 50 divided by 13 in your brain? Can we do that? Yep. I have a question. So when you subtract, so you're adding these, correct? I'm adding. So the negative 44 plus 6. That's positive. Is it a negative in the textbook? Oh, sorry. You're right. I just read that. Oh, sorry. guys, it's 23. It's not 22. It's 23. Let's correct that. I went back to look and see if it was a negative and saw it's 23. So what is that, 46? So that makes it 52 dividing by 13. There we go, now it's a nice even number. Don't use your calculator, what is it? Four, you expect it to be four? You can quickly check, right? That's 12, carry one, that's five. Now, am I done? What must I do, Will? One of the first original equations. Does it matter? I, I just choose one. I typically just choose the easiest one. I'm probably going to choose the second one. The numbers are smaller. It doesn't matter which one you choose. So negative 2x plus 3 times for y I'm going to substitute in 4 <clears throat> is 12. Huh. I already know what x is. Subtract the 12 from both sides. You have negative 2x is 0. Divide by negative 2. What's the value of x? Yes, ma'am. It equals 2 and times 12. 2. I then multiply. Oh, my goodness. 2. Subtract 12. Negative 10. Divided by negative 2. X is five. 5. Two mistakes and one problem, huh? 5, 4. That's my coordinate pair. Make sense? 